Shifting focus for now to a story that you probably have come across throughout the day or have possibly been affected by it personally. The Microsoft outage has brought a lot of sectors to a halt throughout the day. There, have been there has been growing concern. This has been ongoing for over 17 hours now. The company has issued a statement saying that the underlying cause for the global outage has been fixed. However, the residual impact of cybersecurity outage is continuing to affect industries and users around the world. Now, here are some key services that have been affected due to the Microsoft error. The emergency helpline number 911 is set to be still down in several U.S. states. The outage has caused few airlines across India, Hong Kong, Singapore, Italy, Canada, and the U.S. to ground flights earlier. In Australia, people have been reportedly facing payment system failure they were having difficulties in accessing financial institutions like Australia's Stock Exchange. The outage also impacted the London Stock Exchange. The 2024 Paris Olympics also being hit by the outage. However, the impact remains limited with no ticket sales affected. Among the worst hit are Australia and New Zealand. According to reports, the outage started around 3.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time on the 19th of July. Not just businesses, Microsoft users are also unable to access various apps and services. Meanwhile, several flights have either been cancelled or delayed due to the outage. I arrived at the airport since 2 p.m. and saw this long queue. The staff informed us that the system was down and there was nothing they could do. We just had to stand and wait like this. Our flights have been cancelled, so now we're trying to find accommodation in Sydney, which is not easy. Our daughters are trying to do that online and um, then we'll have to try and get a flight home somehow, somewhere, sometime, don't know. Indian Airlines, including Indigo and SpiceJet, faced issues with their check-in systems. They were forced to use alternate methods like Excel to check in and manage booking services. Moreover, the web check-in feature is temporarily unavailable for passengers across India. Millions of Windows users across the world experiencing what is called the blue screen of death. The outage is causing computers to shut down or restart automatically and in some cases repeatedly. Blue screen errors can occur when a critical issue forces Windows to unexpectedly shut down or restart. And so the question remains, what caused the outage and why did it happen? Are you aware of a company called CrowdStrike? Well, CrowdStrike is a US-based cybersecurity company. It provides security solutions to users and businesses around the world. In Microsoft's case, the CrowdStrike software is integrated with Windows operating system to provide advanced security. The firm uses cloud-based AI and machine learning to detect and prevent threats in real time. However, the company that was meant to prevent such outages is the one that caused it this time around. According to an alert sent by CrowdStrike, its widely used Falcon sensor software is causing Microsoft Windows to crash. This specific uh, outage uh, has been caused by a software platform called CrowdStrike, uh, which is uh, an agent for the protection of computers against uh, intrusions, uh, malware, uh, so what we usually call antivirus, just the version of an antivirus that is installed uh, in large enterprises. Since uh, this uh, software is used across different industries uh, globally, it's one of the leading platforms on the market, uh, the outages that we are seeing uh, are uh, spread both geographically and across different industries. Microsoft also has acknowledged the issue. They have released a statement, and I'm quoting, We are investigating an issue impacting users' ability to access various Microsoft 365 apps and services. CrowdStrike, on the other hand, says the issue has been isolated and a fix has been deployed. However, the outage continues to affect different industries around the world. It still remains unknown when the operations will be fully restored. 
to stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.